show you how to organize a small pantry. Okay, so this is going to be the before pick. Um, I went grocery shopping the other day, and as you can see, I didn't have enough storage to place my food, so I ended up um, ended up on the floor. So this is my pantry. I'll show you here. Not that organized. And as you know over here that I store my cereal is very un very unorganized, very cluttered, and I want to get that cleaned up. So I'm going to show you how I have it. I cleared everything out, well mostly everything out of the cupboard. I measured the shelves so I know what size baskets and containers to get. Now this is the after. I'm actually ended up making a coffee bar, but I'll do I'll go into detail in another video on that. So this is my pantry. Oh, uh, these three mirrors I got from Target. It was a pack of three for $8.99, and they look great here. I liked how that looks. Then my grandmother's plant. <laughs> okay, um, this is the unit I end up buying. This is a two-door organizer I got at Target for $47.99. So I ended up moving, um, putting the other one that was there originally, and I made that into the coffee bar. So I still have some extra glasses that um, I'll soon get rid of those and get them up there. So, well, so this is my pantry now, and I got these baskets from Michaels. This small one I got for $5.99 on sale, and the larger one for $8.39 on sale. Um, I went to the dollar store and I didn't see any baskets that I liked that would fit in this unit. So here I just placed some storage, um, some sandwich bags. Over here some um, oil, extra virgin olive oil, some coconut oil, another one there in the back, another olive oil, some soy sauce, some red wine vinegar, honey, coconut milk, another one there on the bottom, some apple cider vinegar, And some vanilla extract there. Some sugar there, brown sugar there in the background. And my cereal. I'll just keep the cereal in the boxes for now, but later on I plan to put them in some containers. So on the third shelf, I have some more baskets from Michael's. A large one and a small one. I just love, love the, the the way it looks. It's just I love it. <laughs> um, so in this one here, in the small one, I put the kids' oatmeal. Took them out the boxes so they can just pull it out and grab which one they want. It's easy to look through. In the large one, I got some cookies, crackers, cream of wheat, pancake mix, some Melba toast, and some crackers in the back there. On the last shelf, um, I got these containers from the dollar store. Um, there were $2 a container and they're glass, glass containers. And I got the labels from Staples. It's the Martha, Lewis, Martha Stewart line. And they're on sale for $2.67, which is a good price because they're regular $5.99. And then here I got some pasta, cornmeal, flax seeds, peanuts. Almonds in the back, spaghetti, rice, sugar, flour, and some oats in the back. I love the way this turned out. And where I store my cereal, the two door organizer here. Again, I got that from Target, $47.99. And inside, I got three more baskets from Michaels. These were the small ones for on sale for $5.99. I put the kids' um, granola bars in there. I took them out the, bo the boxes, put them in there so they're easy to, they can grab one or put them in their lunches quickly. More snacks in this one. And 
And in this basket here, I just put some uh, coconut flakes, uh, some chocolate chip that the kids like to put in their pancakes, almond flour, Second shelf here, I bought some the bottle of water. You can just grab them, take them out the door. Some extra rice and oats that couldn't fit in the container. Some juice, oatmeal, some side kicks, um, cake mix there in the back. Juice boxes, more juice boxes that I've got on sale. So I like the way this turned out. It looks good. I love it. So a, a lot more efficient for us. So there you go. That's how you organize a small pantry. So stay tuned to my next video where I'm going to be talking about my coffee bar. I'm going to try and put out videos once a week, so please subscribe if you like this video.